Hello, and in this HTML and CSS tutorial, we're going to go over horizontally centering content. So to start off with, let's learn how to horizontally center uh, inline and inline block elements. So pretty much most of this stuff, by the way, we've probably covered before, or we've kind of like brushed over it a little bit, but I felt horizontal centering is so important that it really does need its own tutorial, because uh, when you're doing web design and web development, you're usually going to want to center stuff horizontally, to some capacity at least. Um, so let's just go ahead and let's start with inline and inline block elements. Now, if you don't want an inline block element, um, which by the way is indicated by inline hyphen block, that's how you write that, um, pretty much the only real element that has it by default is the image. And you'll notice there was that one tutorial a while back where I got really, really confused and I was like, what's this? And I went troubleshooting for ages because I completely forgot about inline block elements. Um, but they kind of share some... Uh, properties from inline elements and sh some from block elements, but you pretty much you center them just like you would inline elements. So let's have some text, hello, and let's also have an image uh, with a source. Uh, let's just do it to my logo slash images slash logo dot png, and so we have some text and an inline block element and they should easily be centered using one very 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 simple property in CSS and that is the text align property uh, so this isn't just for text despite its name maybe they should probably rename it um, to something else I don't know what you'd name it to but text align if we set that to center in this case just to the body because that's the parent of these two and we refresh the page you can see ta -da, these are both centered um, they are as a whole centered, so if you wanted them centered um, one below the other, obviously you can just put a line break in there, and oh, there we go, and now they're both centered, like each centered, instead of both being centered as one, if you understand what I mean. So inline and inline block elements, very, very, very easily centered using text line center. And obviously if you don't want everything to be centered, you can maybe wrap them in a division or something, or you probably want class equals centered maybe and then these two could be inside that and then our class centered could have a uh, text line sent <coughs> so if we refresh that'll have exactly the same effect but any text or inline elements or well any block elements or anything outside of this division won't be centered because they're not in this centered division Oops. As you can see, this isn't centered, but these guys are, because these guys are within our centered division. So, what if we actually want to center the division itself? So, um, let's just take that away. Uh, I guess we could leave its content. In fact, we'll leave its content centered. Um, let's change this to an ID of centered, though, because I prefer working with IDs, um, especially with divisions, as we call it, centered. Not a great ID, but it'll do for the time being. So we have a div with an ID of centered. We have hello, and we have an image inside that. And we want these to be centered within their parent division, but we also want this division to be centered um, within the body. So to center a block element easily, uh, as long as it has a width property, so let's go ahead and give it a width property, 50% uh, maybe, and let's give it height of 300 pixels, or maybe it would be better to give it a min height, uh, in this case, and if I haven't gone over min height and max height before, it's pretty simple. So if you, if I had like one line of text in a division, uh, that means it would technically want to be below this min height. But I say no, 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 no. Your minimum height is 300 pixels. So it goes okay, and it sets its height to 300 pixels. But then if I have like a million lines of text in that division, uh, so it can go over this min height. So if it goes actually, you know, I'd really like 500 pixels. Is that okay? And I go yeah, yeah, as long as you're over the minimum height of 300 pixels. And it goes okay, so it sets its height to 500 pixels. And you can also set a maximum height, which works kind of a similar way as well. I'm sure you can figure that out. Let's just get the min height of 300 pixels. And we've gone over this in the previous tutorial where we made a really, really simple website because I got all excited about divisions. And pretty much you can do this by setting the left margin and the right margin to the same thing. And the easy way to do that if you have a width property, boom, on a block element, we're using a div, is to just set the margin left to auto and the margin right to auto, because they will automatically center your thing for you. So if we just go into Safari, and of course we can't see it, so let's just give this division a background so we can see what's going on. Maybe FCO. And we can see, there we go, it's completely centered horizontally. Um, so, da -da -da. yeah, margin left auto, margin right auto, and as I've said before, 
a lot of the time people are going to use the shorthand which is margin and then the top and right what am I talking about? Uh, the up and down margin, so that might be 20 pixels or zero is often used if you don't want any up and down margin. Uh, I want 20 in this case. And then our left and right margins, which we want to be auto. So margin, something, auto is often used, and it's going to have exactly the same effect, apart from it's going to be slightly off the top, because I wrote 20. Uh, but bam there we go. <coughs> Sorry if I, for excessive coughing, or if I sound slightly stupid in this video, I just have a cold right now. So, how about if we have something with positioning? So, let's change our centered division. Um, let's just give it a fixed height, because if I'm using positioning, I'll usually have fixed heights. And then we'll give it <coughs> position relative, maybe. And, in fact, no. Let's, let's go position absolute. And let's say we always want it to be uh, 50 pixels or position fixed would probably be more appropriate in this case. Um, and let's just have some lorem text down here. What? That isn't it at all. <laughs> Alright, don't know why text expander failed there. Uh, and let's just put in some more of that. Again, this is just when I use position fixed, I usually just put in a load of filler content so I can see if it actually is position fixed by scrolling down the page. So we have our center division, we have hello and an image in there, and centered has a position of fixed and it's 50 pixels always from the top of our thing. So you can see, here we go. Ugh, it's not quite enough content. More. That should be plenty. Okay, we can see, there we go. It is always 20 pixels from the top. But then how can we ensure that this is always centered horizontally? That's just how we wanted it to be centered horizontally. Well, what we can do is if we just go back here and, first of all, let's just give it text align center because I accidentally removed that. We want that so our image and text inside are centered, but boom. But we want the whole division to be centered. Um, and it has this positioning, so we can't just go ahead and use margin zero auto because it's not going to work because it has positioning. There we go, it didn't work. So what we can do is we can do a little thing uh, which you can do if you have a fixed width. So in fact, let's just set this width to a pixel value because it's going to be easier to illustrate. Uh, I guess 500 pixels will do the job. Let's just refresh. A little bit shorter than I want it to be. Let's up that. 800 maybe. Okay, that's perfect. So it's 800 pixels wide. And we don't actually know how wide our browser window is. But what we can do is we can say, okay, the position is fixed. And now we can give, whoops, ah, we can give it a left value of half of its width. So. 400 pixels, or, in fact, no, that's completely wrong, <laughs> you can give it a left value of 50%, so that's going to make it be pushed exactly 50% across. However, we'll see the side effect of this, is that instead of like being completely centered, it's going to have this edge be exactly 50% in, so you can see this edge is halfway. But what we want to do is we actually want this to be completely centered, so we want this bit in the middle to be there, not this edge. So what we can do here is we can just go margin left, and let's just set that to minus uh, half of our width, so minus 400 pixels. And what that's going to do is when I refresh, it's going to push this minus 400 pixels, so this will be centered. And you can see, ta-da, it's now completely centered, and we can scroll up and down, it's all perfectly happy, and everyone's happy. So that's how you center using positioning, and this would work exactly the same <coughs> if I used absolute positioning. Apart from, obviously, I can scroll down, it's just going to stay there. So that's how that works. And... I guess that's more of a trick than anything else because you're just saying, okay, go 50% way along the page and then just go back 400 pixels, which is half of the division. Hopefully you should understand that isn't too complicated, but if you go back halfway, it's going to make it uh, centered. And remember, these are all um, to the parent division. So if I went ahead and said div id equals hello, terrible idea for a division, but there you go. And we just made that the parent of centered, and then if we just went, hello, did I make it have a capital H? I did. So if we then said hello has a width of 60%, well, I failed there, and a background of blue, and we ought to give it a height, I guess, of 500 pixels, and then we refresh. Then we can see it had absolutely no effect because this is position absolute. Let's just say we had position 
Oh, I know what we can do. Let's just give a position relative on this, because absolute um, is in relation to its parent division with positioning. So now this has positioning, it should be uh, as we expected. Here we go. So now I've given this position of relative, centered is going, okay, position absolute. So that means position to my nearest parent with positioning. It's going, okay, hello is my parent, and it has positioning, so I'll position to that. So I'm going to go left 50% into that. So if we again, if we remove the margin left, we're going to see that when I reload, this edge is going to just be directly in the middle here. So if I refresh, ta-da. And then, of course, what we're doing is then pushing it back half. So this is in the middle like that. So that can all be done relatively if we take out all the positioning. Um, we can again, we can do margin zero auto. And that's going to be done relatively like that. And as is text align center, as we've seen here, this is this text and this image is inside this division and it's being centered within that. So it doesn't have to just be within the whole page. It's going to be within the parent if you so choose that um, to be what you want to be centered in. So hopefully that's explained it quite well. Um, I guess we could probably... What could we do? I guess we should quickly talk about line height as well because, again, it's something else I went over in the previous tutorial, but it really is quite important. Uh, let's go back to having the positioning centering because that looks nice. Like that. And... How about if we wanted this text hello, let's just remove the image from there. Go out of here, image. If we wanted this text hello, or hello, I'm some text. And we, really, we wanted that to be vertically centered. So we haven't really talked about vertical centering in this tutorial because it's much more difficult. But if we want it to be vertically centered within this gold looking division. Well, if we're only going to have one line of text, then we can do a very, very simple thing, which is to set the line height and I guess it's cheating a little bit. <coughs> um, however, if we set the line height to the height of the division, so 300 pixels, and then basically that's just going to mean that this is completely centered vertically, just like that. It doesn't quite look centered, but I think it is. I'm pretty confident that is centered, even though it doesn't look good to me. Uh, we do, however, have this side effect of when we highlight uh, in some browsers, it's going to highlight the whole thing. In other browsers, it won't. It just depends what browser you're using. Um, and by the way, this centering stuff is actually useful. And just as an example, let me just bring up my personal about page on GitHub, which I recently created, which is over at joesavage.github.com if you're interested. Uh, it's completely open source, so I have the repo on my GitHub profile as well. But pretty much, um, all this is really is a division which is centered in the middle of the page. We have this photo which just has a little border, which looks quite nice, and then that's centered within this, and then we have this, which is centered, we have this text, which is all used, centered using text line center. Everything on this page is centered, pretty much. I mean, I guess this isn't vertically centered, this is just pushed a little bit from the top, because I didn't really want it to be vertically centered, and it'd be a whole lot of effort to go into. But this is one of those very basic one-page kind of websites, um, and I think they're really, really useful when you can center things like this. Uh, obviously, there are uses, again, in bigger websites, so if you're going to have possibly a navigation bar at the top here, and you want this main content division to be centered, then you can do that as well. So centering, very, very, very useful. If you want to have a look at this website here, uh, you can go ahead and go to my GitHub profile, github.com slash joesavage, uh, and then you can click on joesavage.github.com. And you can see all the sources here, so you could go into CSS, style.css, and see all the styling I've used for this. Uh, or, of course, you could have just right-clicked the page you were on, uh, looked at my source, and then clicked where the uh, CSS file was linked to. But it's much nicer viewing it uh, here on GitHub. I haven't used very complicated techniques. Only about 69 lines. Um, not about exactly. But anyway, I'm going to stop blabbering on about this thing. Let me just go back, because I have this pinned to this. Um, but yeah, let me stop blabbering on about that. The point is, we can now center things within parent divisions, or center them to the whole page, and that's extremely, extremely useful. That's the end of this tutorial, and have a nice day.